What's going on, Leo? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is gonna be a reading for May 2023. So in this reading, Leo, we're gonna take a look at your overall general energy for the month of May. We're gonna take a look at some things you do not see coming. We're also gonna get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and so much more regarding the month of May. 2023 Leo. Now, before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very appreciated here and you are very welcome here, Leo, in this space with me as we go through the reading. And I really do, uh, as always, appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Leo, definitely smash that like button and subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would really appreciate that as well, Leo. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the energy and see what wants to come through for you for the very powerful month of May 2023, Leo. Okay, well, I'll keep it in mind. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Leo. Let's go ahead and see what we got here for you, Leo. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Smoke is in the air. The SOS symbol has gone off. There's something weird going down here, Leo. OD, O oh, diesel. All right. Um, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe for you. Uh, some messages from the universe for you, Leo, for this month. First one you have here is what you want, wants you. All right, Leo, so this is a deep message that something in your heart that you feel has been bubbling up for a long time, you don't have it yet. So this could be an experience with another person. This could be an experience in your career, in whatever aspect of your life. What you have to understand on a spiritual level, Leo, is that when you truly like desire something, it's almost like your soul like shines this beam, you know, almost like uh, the bat symbol. If you ever watch like Batman, like they shine a light, like we need Batman, please come, Spider-Man, save the day. Basically like you shine this desire and the whole universe then conspires to bring it to you. Like the whole universe is rearranging itself to meet what you want because what you want wants you at a deeper level. Now, it's important for you to, to make sure that you get your own resistance out of the way when it comes to this. And this is a lifelong process, right? So just be aware of that. Um, you also have she feels and she knows. She feels and she knows here, Leo. And this is about something, um, you're really coming, this month, you're coming to a, a deep realization about a deep truth within yourself, okay? It's not gonna be a sudden shock. Now, for some of you, there might be a, a different type of sudden shock. We're gonna get to it in a minute, but this is really, Leo, like something is being gently revealed to you. This could even be in your subconscious mind, but I will tell you right away, it's very related to what you want, wants you. She feels and she knows. There's something here that you're, that you're like gonna be like admitting, like, okay, like, this is what is gonna come into my life. But there is this feeling right now that you're kind of waiting. Like there is a feeling of like, um, we're gonna get into it. Now you also have restore and replenish. Restore and replenish, Leo. And this card really, um, for May, it's a message for you not to restore and replenish by like sleeping all day or um, even though there is a person kind of like tucked in here, it's more about getting into your, like the message that I'm, 
getting it is getting into your body, like your own sensuality or your own, um, really getting out of your head and into the body. For me, this is something I've done by surfing. Like uh, I'm on a, like a surf trip right now and I'm surfing every day and I feel so restored and replenished by the ocean water. So something similar. I'm just getting a vision of like a lot of you like dancing naked under the moon. Like literally, um, literally Leo, a lot of you are gonna be like going to a nudist beach where you're gonna be walking through the forest like naked. Like something where you, uh, you get in your body and you like replenish through visceral physical uh, way. That's the message from the universe. And that will probably, what you want wants you. When you're in your natural frequency like that, it will probably come to you faster. So this is like weird things, like maybe you want to sleep naked at night. Um, I like to do that, but sometimes I'm a Virgo and I, so I, I'm like, a, I have these like weird phobias. I'm like, well, what if a bug climbs up my butt, my butt at night? And I'm just like, I can't sleep naked. And so it's just, you may... <laughs> You may have to get rid of these uh, mental, because this is what I'm picking up on, like these mental blocks to restoring and replenishing because restoring and replenishing will look different for a lot of you. Now it's a really interesting, intense reading. So let's get through it. Um, your opportunity, uh, Leo, I almost said Aries because this is the Aries card. Your opportunity, Leo, for this month is the emperor. All right, the emperor here is someone who is a king of a kingdom, okay? So they may, you may be um, plunging yourself into responsibility, taking order of your life. Now, for some of you, there is, there is um, someone coming into your life, especially if you're single ladies out there, there really could be something here about a very powerful or someone who is very assured of themselves coming into your life in some sort of uh, romantic setting. It could, what it's tied up to, we're gonna have to see in a moment, Leo. The emperor is your opportunity could be connecting with an Aries. Um, or some of you could realize that you actually want an Aries, okay? Because Aries and Leo, sex life is like, whoa, you better have the water ready to cool it down. Um, <laughs> you, but you have the uh, Page of Cups as your challenge. So the Page of Cups in your challenge, the Page of Cups is a youthful energy. It's someone who may be overly optimistic, um, kind of like looking at the world through like a dreamlike haze of like optimism. And I think that's not gonna work for you anymore. I really feel like you've been ignoring what you really want. And when it comes to what you want wants you and she feels and she knows, what I'm sensing from this Leo for some of you is there's been some sort of like immature escapism that you've been able to get away with up until this point in your life. I think that's going at, at the waysides. Now, you, some of you could be dealing with a child or some of you could be dealing with a very immature Im person. Now, the deeper message here is, um, is actually very deep for some of you. Now, the page of, uh, the page of cups is kind of an androgynous energy. It's not someone who is easily categorized and so with your challenge, there may be, there's something about a deep transformation um, with your own self-identity or with what you allow yourself to go, to actually go and get in your life, okay? So I feel like for a long time in your life, I'm gonna be just brutally honest here, Leo, like there's been this veneer, there's been this front um, that you've like been able to reside in that now may be going away and you may be your opportunity, right? Like your challenge is immaturity your opportunity is utter maturity here. So there's something about you getting real with yourself. I can't really know what this is about. It's gonna be different things for different Leos, but getting out of your own immature ways and being more mature and like looking at it how it really is, you know, like real, like really looking at. Now, some of you are gonna be dealing with a more difficult beginning part of May. So as you're watching this, you're gonna, some of you are gonna be going through a really difficult aspect right now, but it's gonna clear up. Um, your overall general energy could be a little bit painful, could be a little bit spicy this month because I think you're really admitting to something deep. You have the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and also the, uh, the Queen of Wands here, Leo, when it comes to um, your overall general energy this month. There really could be something, for some of you, there could be something about um, a disagreement between a mother and a, uh, a daughter or um, I'm just getting that, yeah, mother and daughter for most of you. This could be roles reversed if you're a man, make it your father or whatever, or if you have children or it's your literal father. Um, because the page of cups in your challenge, the emperor and your opportunity, and then you have the same 
immature, mature energy right there with the Three of Swords. So there could be a disagreement with someone that thinks it was more mature than you, they should, you should live your life this way, blah, blah, blah. For others of you, it's gonna be in a love setting. There could be some sort of incompatibility that you're gonna realize. And then you're gonna go out on a quest though, Leo. I don't want you to look at this all doom and gloom. You have the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands together. That's fun, that's exploratory, that's knowing your power, but also keeping that childlike curiosity and really being in the fire. It's interesting, I just did a reading for Aries and it was all about connecting with other fire signs, being in the fire, really embracing that element um, of life. And that's what you're gonna be doing as well in your own way. So you're, you're gonna have a lot of fun in May. Don't Please don't get it twisted. But this is one of the more difficult um, spreads I've seen in a while, I'm not gonna lie. And what you don't see coming, Leo, I mean, you can't run from, so especially around the 20th to the 19th of May, Pluto will be almost, will be directly opposing Mars, which can lead to violence. When we see that in someone's birth chart, that leads to someone who could be like a black belt mixed martial artist, but they're violent. And so you have the death card, you have the two of swords and you have, and I'm not saying violence is coming your way. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying, but it's just piece it together. Thank you. You have the death card, the two of swords, and also the tower when it comes to um, what you don't see coming. I'm not even gonna try to figure out what this is. Well, I will try to, I will figure it out when we clarify. You just have to know in what you don't see coming, Leo, your patterns are gonna be broken. This is about a foundation, a shock, a shocking foundation being blown up. The two of swords is someone being in denial, but they can't be anymore because it's blowing up in their face. You also have the death card. So a lot of you are really going through one of the deepest transformations of your entire life. Um, right now, and it makes sense, Leo, because what we're seeing right now, astrologically speaking, Leo, is almost bigger than what we saw around the time of 2020 with Corona. It's just as big as what we saw astrologically in 2012, when those timeline shifts. So, so think back to what happened in 2020, think back to what happened in 2012. We're dealing with a similar energy right now, but for you, I'm getting it's going to manifest in a more personal way. So picture the same level of transformation that happened in 2012 to the collective in 2020 in the collective. is happening to you now, this month, in your own way. What this is about, I'm just getting, there's a lot of issues that are all over the board. You're gonna know, I mean, the thing of, don't run away from this though. Cause there's something about mid-May, you're really gonna wanna, you're really gonna wanna put your head in their sand. I'm telling you, hear me now, believe me later. Mid-May, the 19th and 20th of May. Once that happens, you're good. It's, a, it's gonna be an interesting month for you. Put your seatbelt, buckle your seatbelt, Leo. Um, when it comes to um, your advice from your spirit guides, you have the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, and you also have the Three of Pentacles here and your advice from your spirit guides. So there's a message here to keep it calm, keep it civil, and keep it good relationally. Because this really, for a lot of you, this could manifest in your relation. Whatever that death is, that Two of Swords, that tower, breakups and breakthroughs. Really, I'm gonna title this reading Breakups and Breakthroughs, Leo, because, but on top of that, this is harmonious, your spirit, you see, spirit is telling you, Leo, even if you don't wanna be harmonious, be harmonious, okay? The Four of Wands is soul family, a rite of passage. The Three of Wands, excuse me, the Three of Cups is um, positive social engagement, celebrations. The Three of Pentacles is working together, and the Three Three here, this is all to do with other people, okay? so. Whatever you're going through, the message here is reach out to people. You don't have to go through this alone. You can reach out to people and they can really help you with whatever this is going on because this is very, this is one of the, yeah, really intense for you, Leo, right now. And, you know, don't forget to go dance naked under the moon. During this process, even on your, even on your worst day, just remember, Leo, even on your worst day, you live like someone on their greatest. And I'm telling you, that's something you're gonna have to remind yourself in May, okay? Uh, let's see why the emperor is here in your, in your uh, opportunity. Why is the emperor here? Hmm. There could be, yeah. Well, the emperor is clarified by the high priestess and the seven of wands here, Leo. So there could be a very deep subconscious um, 
thing that, once again, you've been trying to page of cups it for a long time. You've been trying to just basically be like, nah, like, let's just fall into these patterns and ignore it. Let's ignore it. Let's just go out. Let's like kind of put a band-aid on this. Whatever you've been trying to put a band-aid on, um, you, need to, you need to go get the infection cleared out. The band-aid is not going to work anymore, Leo. And it's very deep. It's very mysterious as well. Whatever is going on for you, Leo, and it's all tied up to what you want wants you right now. What you want wants you, she feels and she knows. That's, what is that? That's high priestess energy. She feels and she knows. So a lot of you are going to have a very visceral knowing that you want to run away from. Okay, I know this truth about myself, but let's run away from it. Okay, um, et cetera, et cetera. So for a lot of you, there also, you could be at odds with an emperor figure, toxic masculine. It even could be a woman because once I, again, I got beef between mother and daughter. I got beef between mother and daughter, or not beef, but like, you know, there could be, so it could be a domineering woman that is part of your opportunity. I don't know why I keep getting that. Uh, let's see why the page of cups is your challenge. And then we're gonna, yeah. Why is the page of cups your challenge, Leo? The page of cups in your challenge. <laughs> well, whenever I get a duplicate, that's telling me it's on point. Um, the page of cups is, or what I said was on point. The page of cups is clarified by the page of cups, the hanged man, and also the ace of wands here. Um, Leo, so there's a new beginning that you're surrendering to, and it's part of your challenge. Once again, it's what you want wants you that energy you're going to be tuning into here, but you're surrendering to a new beginning, and you're really surrendering to what you want. The Ace of Wands is an energy of what you want, and it really is synonymous. Now it's, it's getting the whole. I'm getting the whole download, Leo. I'm getting the whole download. Uh, when it comes to your overall general energy, Three of Swords, um, Page of Wands, and the Queen of Wands, this is really admitting to your true desires can be quite painful in this life, okay? Because everyone has an agenda in this reality. Your parents have an agenda for you. Your friends have an agenda for you, even if it isn't spoken out loud. Um, the matrix has an agenda for you, but you need to have a, an agenda for yourself right now And you need to, to surrender to whatever that personal agenda that you want is and I'm telling you Leo It could be something to do. You have the page of wands. You have the page of cups It could have to do with I'm getting play It has to do with your inner child coming out something that you want to do You could feel guilt you could feel shame for it, but you got to go with it now The last thing I'll say about this is a lot of you though There is a maturity here that you're sinking into sometimes this is like, okay, this is the, the frequency I'm getting. Sometimes the most mature thing you can do as a, let's say you're a, um, let's say you're a 50 year old man and uh, you realize, okay, I have this deep desire. I need to meet this need of my inner child. It might, the way that it looks like is you walking around with stuffed animals because you loved stuffed animals in your childhood. But when you were a child, your father came into the room and he's like, hey, is this your stuffed animal, sissy? You're a pussy. What are you doing with those stuffed animals, little blah, blah, blah. And you're like, well, I just like my stuffed animals. You blocked it out. And now at 50 years old, you're like, I need to get a whole house of stuffed animals. That looks weird like a page of cups thing, but it's really coming from an emperor thing because you need to take control in order to really admit to that and get to that point. And so that's where this whole thing of dancing under the moon naked. Some of you, um, I mean, the Ace of Wands is the dick card for me. So a lot of you, this could have to do with sexual things that are coming up for you, okay? And it would make sense, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, uh, Three of Swords. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, all right. I always have the, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I always have the most, out of all the signs that I do, I have the most resistance to Leo, okay? Now, part of that is because my mother is a Leo, but part of that is also from like any Leo in my life, like especially if it's like a female Leo, there's always this like healthy tension between it. I actually like it, but it, it then it, it, it brings out the ego sometimes. And so um, the reason why I say that to you, I don't know, but I had to say it. All right, so I'm not even worried about your overall. When it comes to what you don't see coming, why is the death card here? Why is the death card here, Leo, for you in what you don't see coming? And you have the death card, the two of swords, and the tower. 
I mean, I mean, my man. <laughs> why is the two? Why is the death card here? Well, it could be some. Yeah, well, a lot of you, this is something that you need to uh, disconnect from. The Death card is clarified by the Hermit, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Ouch. Once again, ouch here. But there's something here that's been wounding you that needs to come to an end, okay? The number 10 is to do with an ending. The Hermit is to do with going into yourself here. So there's a deep thing that you're letting go of. You're really going within and being like, okay, I, I really like... I think it's more internal. Now, this is the good part of this reading. Let's do one more. Um, why is the why is the Two of Swords here, the centerpiece reading? Whatever this death, Two of Swords in the tower, it's more internal. Okay, so I'm not like more so worried about you getting into some sort of physical accident. It's more of like an, uh, it's more emotional. Some of you, hold on. Why is the Two of Swords here? Well, okay, so not wanting to go for this. The Two of Swords is clarified by the Justice card and also the uh, Fool. So this really is tied up to, wow, what you want wants you, Leo. So some of you are in denial that you can actually get what you want because of some sort of social code or, or whatever it is. Um, the Fool and the Justice card, the Justice card is saying, Leo, what you want wants you. When you fully embark on this journey, even if it's just a declaration of intention, okay, like I want this, like let's sit with it, let's let it come to us now, um, like it can be way easier than you're making it right now, Leo, is what I'm saying. Now let's just, let's get some advice for you here. Um, why is the three of cups here in your advice? Because this is really saying like, once again, I did a reading for Aries, it's similar for Leo, like other people is your key to happiness here. Um, I don't really, this advice is not for you to go once again, you have restore and replenish, but it's an active restoring and it's an active replenishment. It's not necessarily you sitting in a room. So although I'm saying this death, the two of swords and the tower is internal process, it's not that you're just gonna be sitting in a room dealing with an internal process. No, your advice is to, to like let your internal process loose with other people. Let other people be involved in this. Let other people help you. Vent to other people. Share your problems with other people. People are on your side this month, Leo. You don't have to do it alone. And actually with that being said, I'm gonna conclude this reading. I don't really feel, I feel like I've said what I needed to say for you. Expect a wild ride this month, especially around the 19th to the 20th of April or the 17th to the 21st of April. I'm telling you something's gonna go down. If from the 17th to the 21st of April, if someone tries to provoke you, just walk away. I'm telling you, some of you are gonna get into a brawl, some of you are gonna get into a, I'm telling you. Now others of you, this is more internal. So with that being said, I'm gonna conclude this reading, Leo. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you next time.